For some places in the inland northwest, last night felt like a bad case of deja vu. KXY4's Allie Norton is working for you tonight. She was in North Spokane today and joins us live in the studio. Aaron, some are finding themselves doing the same sort of cleanup they did two weeks ago in North Spokane. There's a little more work to do in other places in the county. Whitworth Presbyterian Church worship was held outside this morning after two trees claimed their building. It's not so bad if you look inside, you see some ceiling tiles gone. There is one branch sticking inside the building, but it's more of the concern about what the structural damage is going to be. Service music came with a faint sound of chainsaws as crews cleared trees across campus. A scene all too familiar. Whitworth President Beck Taylor says he thought they dodged a bullet with the last storm. Uh, we had a few trees down the first storm, very minimal structural damage. This storm, of course, was a lot worse. Outside the student dining facility, it's much like the rest of North Spokane, a tree graveyard. At least 10 full-grown pines were uprooted in this area. On the other side of campus, trees found their new homes on top of dorm buildings. Luckily, no one was injured. Could have been a lot worse, and we've got time to clean up before um, our new students arrive in late August. Take a quick trip outside of campus, and you'd find yourself in a cluster of chaos. The power outage forced some places to close down that pride themselves on 24-hour service. This sign was posted at Jack in the Box on Division and Hawthorne this afternoon. It also created a traffic nightmare on busy streets. But just like the members at Whitworth Presbyterian Church say, the show must go on. We will have worship. We just don't know where it will be. In the meantime, let the work begin. And President Beck Taylor says that students moving in, moving in at the end of the month shouldn't be affected. They say they may have to do some shuffling, but they should manage. They also said that despite all of the damage that is done at the campus, the activities that are scheduled should resume just when they are clearing. Reporting in the studio tonight, I'm Allie Norton, KXLY4 News.